Today I'm going to talk about my journey to the VUCA world with a key. Around 18 or 20 years before, you know, after my schooling, uh, I, with few of my friends, decided to take information technology as our career. Whereas some of our other friends took the established field of uh, engineering in chemical, mechanical, or medical. There was very less information available of the success of this career. So we were not aware what are the opportunities or the challenges available in, you know, after doing or achieving for the career. But we took that challenge, we went ahead to that career path, and now, after 18 or 20 years, in one such zero hours of my life, I could determine that what was the VUCA world. We would define this world just now. Then and now. At what phases I went through all this my career. So I named that a key. So that is how this is my journey to the VUCA world with a key. So now let's define this VUCA world. What was my perception of the VUCA world then? It was volatile. Everyone used to say that information technology is very volatile. It changes very frequently. So the lesson I learned during this journey is equally relevant in all such goals. It may be a small goal, medium goal, large goal, or full lifetime goals. So during these slides, we will you know, see that. U is for uncertainty. There is a lot of uncertainty in achieving any such goal, be it information technology in my case, be it any other you know, goal achievement in any of such case. C for complexity. There might be a lot of complexity you will face during the journey. And A was for ambiguity. So the world which I perceived then for the information technology was this VUCA world. But still, we went ahead, we took that challenge, we went through our training, and now, after 18 or 20 years being established to some level in the industry, uh, we have a different preview of this VUCA world. We will get to know about this. We will redefine this same VUCA world later. But the journey I went through all these years, I went through a key I call E is the key. So we will understand or we will explore what are those 10 E words. Uh, friends, being in a technology industry and a technocrat, trust me, it is very easy to learn any technology. But it is very difficult to imbibe the soft skills. I know many technocrats, but they are not that successful because they have these soft skills not available. So let's see what are those E is the key. The first E is a very essential trait which everyone should have to make their journey started for any achievement, for any goal target. That is enthusiasm. This is the essential key. If you start your journey, if you start your goal achievement, with this in place, believe me, half job is done. You see, if you are enthusiastic for anything, you will tend to work more. And this enthusiasm will obviously infuse the next E in you, that is energy. So you might have heard or see or experience that if you have something enthusiastic for, 
you will put your best efforts, best energy to that. You will continuously do. You might have seen any small child, if interested or enthusiastic for any game, he can continue do that energy for two or three hours with that kind of energy. So energy is the second E. The next energy is puts the efforts. If you have the enthusiasm which infuses energy in you, believe me, it will help you to put continuous efforts to achieve the goal. So efforts is the third key for me. And putting continuous efforts, not one time or broken efforts, continuous efforts over a period depending upon the goal. If it is a medium goal, maybe a medium term, life goal, maybe a lifetime efforts, you will achieve or you will gain experience, the fourth E. With experience comes the fifth E, that is efficiency. When you have experience, you are efficient enough because you learned a lot and you are able to resolve anything quickly. If someone asks you that this is the issue, this is the problem, you can recognize the issue and suggest the solution based upon your experience only. So that brings efficiency in your efforts. Now, the sixth is that having enthusiasm which infuses energy in you and with continuous efforts, gaining experience, and having efficiency in all your tasks, you tend to become expert. People call you as expert because they come to you for any suggestion or any resolution. That's only comes after these traits. And when you become expert, you become effective to your organization. Then people start listening to you. People start coming to you because they know your expertise. They, you become a subject matter expert. They know you, they come to you, even the boardroom of your company will ask for your solution and suggestion and to implement that. You are being heard because you have that expertise with you. And being effective, then only you start earning. Not only in terms of financials, it's not only money, it's the appreciation, the respects, and the rewards you gain from the industry, from the society, and from the peers and all. So these are the earnings which you have. Now, having all these traits are positive side, but if you don't have the Ninth one, the journey may be a difficult. It's an, again, a, one of the essential traits is that is you need to be ethical. Unless until, until you are ethical, you won't continue or you won't be successful completing your journey. It is said that it is your attitude, not aptitude, determines your altitude. So we need to be very ethical in your approach so that your peers, your colleagues, your management can come to you and ask for the help. And you go by in a positive vibes. So being ethical, being honest to your job is very much required traits. And then only you, you start enjoying your journey. Enjoying, not in terms of the professional life as well as personal life. Because if your professional life is settled, your personal life will be have a balance also. So the enjoyment comes. So these are the 10 E are the keys which makes you that journey you know, successful and achievable. Can be any kind of goal. So I consider 
then these are the 10 keys which remained with me during all these years, apart from the technical know-how. Now, at this stage, after going through this series of phases, I could see the same VUCA world, which was very vulnerable to me then, which was very volatile to me, uncertain to me, it's complex to me, it's ambiguous to me, is now being colorful, VUCA world. So now let's redefine this VUCA as, now it's more visible world to me. It's more unbelievable world to me. It's more committed world to me. It's more awesome world to me. The same world, VUCA world, which was not which that clear to me then is now more clear and obvious to me. So, having said this, dear friends, last but not the least, there is another key. After achieving a success in your career, you have to give back to your society, to your younger generation. And that is the another key I would try to, I would like to recommend to all of you is that encouragement, like I'm doing with you. So after achieving something, and all of these speakers are doing right now, they are sharing your experiences with you only to encourage you to achieve your different goals. So I believe all these traits, all these keys are equally applicable and relevant to any such goals which you want to achieve I think it will be very easier for you to go ahead in your successful life. That's all from my side. Thank you very much.